we were sent Alan Mosher claiming to be a Green Beret Ranger superhero. Uh, after investigating, we found out what his claims were and what the facts were were not the case. They didn't jive. This is not a video to pick on someone. This is a video to set the record straight that this individual is not what he claims, period. Watch the video to the end because he agreed to remove all the fake swag from the back of his truck and it turns out we had a local bust him at a restaurant they eat at uh, showing that he still had it on there. He went out of his way to find a truck similar to his and send us a sterile window pretending he had removed the stuff. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Steve? Yeah. Steve, this is Alan. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I sound on my end? Uh, you sound all right. Yeah. A guy sent us screenshots of you claiming to have been a Green Beret, Ranger, Sniper, well, Airborne. I guess that's probably it. We have screenshots of the long tab a decal on your truck, screenshots of you wearing a ranger tab with a ranger scroll on it, and you were none of those, and you weren't even airborne. Correct. Correct. Well, we knew within 10 minutes you were a fraud. Hello? Um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> well, I any comment on that? Well, it's not really easy to give an answer to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not really easy to give an answer to. Um, I don't know. I've had some problems, and... Uh, which I know everybody has problems. Everybody has bigger problems than I do, and I've had bigger problems than some. I get it. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going through pneumonia right now, and it's killing my voice. Yep. Um, I don't have a, a easy, an easy explanation for it. Uh, I did join the guard and uh, went through infantry school and wanted a lot more out of it, so after my first enlistment, um, I re-enlisted, and very shortly after, I kind of regretted my decision, because I wanted to go active, <clears throat> excuse me, and I had talked to an SF recruiter who told me to actually quit going to drills, and they would inevitably release me and then I would be able to to uh, go acting for that well that wasn't exactly the case that doesn't really sound like something that doesn't sound like something an SF recruiter would tell you yeah it was a regular recruiter yeah it was actually a, uh, I won't give you a specific name but it was a recruiter in Oklahoma City yeah but uh, it was just a regular office recruiter I contacted because I'd kind of gotten fed up with what I was doing at the time. But uh, anyway, uh, I don't know. Kind of got rubbed wrong there. And then, uh, not saying I, I did what I did out of spite or anything, I didn't. And, uh, I don't know, just started, uh, I'm glad why I chose to call you is it's better for me to get on the phone and, and I don't know what I'm trying to explain. I've, I've got a real hard time explaining myself. But, uh, well, most people do when they I get caught. 
it again. I'm, most I'm people honest. most people have a hard time uh, explaining themselves when they get caught because they are too busy living the lie and have not thought ahead of time as a plausible excuse why they've been living the lie. I mean, you were pretty direct and uh, you you actually I I have a comment I uh, trolled your wall today uh, that were was open to a pub open to the public and you actually responded to a lady her son was going airborne or something uh, I think you claim a hundred and first too I have that screenshot I don't even think you attempted airborne school correct. Correct. So um, I didn't. Right. Well, well, I know. I know. I I just wanted that on record. So, is there any way we could get you to write a well, like a one one page paragraph, two paragraphs, so we could include it on our website of you apologizing and agreeing not to pretend you're a green beret the rest of your life. Absolutely. All right, hey. And like a, what I was trying to say earlier, this wasn't a phone call to try to, uh, exp or you know, not explain, but not to uh, discredit you guys and say, hey, yes, I was, and all this and that. Facts are facts, I wasn't. And, and people know that. And, and that's why we're doing an article on you. We I've know that. Us in the past. Right. And uh, I'm just trying to tell you that the, the reason for the call wasn't to to say, you know, you guys are full of it and all this and that. It was set the story straight. I mean, which you guys are, I guess, and that's good. Uh, I've needed help in the past. I haven't had it, and I, there's there's not a single explanation for what I've done or how I've done it or anything like that. <laughs> e email us uh, an apology. And can you also email us a picture of you scraping that long tab off your truck? And uh, I, I don't know, throw out that freaking ball cap that has a ranger tab on it and a scroll. I can do that. What? I can. Uh... I mean, it doesn't belong there. You never earned either tab. You have no right to wear them. Right, and I have, actually I've never worn anything in uniform that I haven't earned. Um, as far as stuff on a vehicle or stuff on apparel, I, I understand. Yeah, well, you have to. I mean, if, if somebody saw that that decal on your truck, they'd think you were a uh, long cap. If somebody saw you wearing that ball cap with the Ranger scroll and a Ranger tab, they would, beyond doubt, think you served in battalion as a ranger, you know, and both of those are lies. So, hey, uh, send us that uh, apology letter, and we'll put it in the article, and uh, we'll move on and close this case out and uh, post you on the website and uh, hope you don't do it again. You got it. All right, man, out here. Short follow-up on this guy. After he sent us pictures of a sterile window, proving he removed all that fake SF and Ranger swag from his window. A local saw his truck at a restaurant showing just the opposite. This guy had the audacity and ball sack to take a picture of a truck similar to his that had a clean rear window, leading us to believe he followed through with his promise of removing all his fake swag off the back of his truck which indeed was a lie. We reached out to his, him a second time, and uh, after we showed him pictures of his truck and reached out to his estranged wife, asking her to follow up, assuring that he removed that, he did remove it later on. Out here.